In room 32A of the Pediatric Cardiac Intensive Care Unit at Sheba Medical Center lies Shema from East Jerusalem. It's been three months since she was hooked up to the machine that replaces her heart function. She is thin and tired, but tries to smile, especially for her mother, who has not moved from her bedside. At the age of 14, she has arrived at the only place in Israel able to offer her a heart transplant, Sheba Medical Center. Dr. Katz and his team understand that in order to save her life, they must connect her to an artificial heart. Otherwise, she will not survive the wait for a heart transplant. Shaima's heart has a combination of two very complex congenital heart disease. It will make it very difficult to connect the artificial heart that we were planning to, to put in place. The usual uh, imaging that we do wouldn't be enough and wouldn't give us all the information we need to do this surgery. As a team, we came to the conclusion that we must print a model. In the operating room, once we opened the chest, we saw that we made a crucial decision which impacted the patient's uh, outcome very significantly. The surgeon knew the heart and knew where exactly where to put the cannula, where otherwise he would have uh, probably gotten lost. It takes 60 hours for the machine to print a 3D model of Shema's enlarged heart. The heart is tested using virtual reality techniques. A team from Germany is brought to Israel especially. They join the Sheba team to study Shema's heart in depth. The team finalizes details for the surgery and, in November, Following extensive and exacting practice sessions, Shema is successfully connected to the artificial heart machine that gives her life, at least for now, until a heart is found for transplant that will ultimately save her life. On the pediatric oncology ward at Sheba Medical Center lies Lital. <laughs> We decided in order to save the knee joint, we're going to use a new and innovative method of 3D printing. This method allows us to mimic the bone that she's going to lose during the operation and going to help us also save the knee joint. The decision to use a 3D printed prosthesis instead of using regular old version prosthesis proved itself along the way and now Lital can walk with no limitation. We in Shiba Medical Center began to use 3D printed personalized accessories for many different surgical departments. The main positive feature of using 3D printing in medicine is giving a highly accurate, ideally personalized replica for the patient organs, including the individual pathology. This allows us to reach the best surgical decisions for every case.